Hey Sad Nation, Ignition Interlock. You've heard of them, but what do they do? And why is it important for you and your parents to have them in your car? Let's take a look. Today I'm at Tint World Orlando and I'm joined by Jacob Harding from Intoxilock. So Jacob, tell me a little bit about Intoxilock. Absolutely. So Intoxilock is America's premier provider of ignition interlock services. Um, we have a dedication to public safety and preventing drunk driving on the road. It's really important to us and it's at the core of everything that we do. Um, so we're really happy to partner up with you guys today to try and talk to parents a little bit about what it's like installing an ignition interlock for your son or your daughter as they begin to get on the road. So what exactly does an Intoxilock device do? Uh, that's a great question. So. An ignition interlock or an intoxilock, it has a fuel cell within here. And what the fuel cell does is it oxidizes alcohol, and that is going to send a current, a voltage, through to the interlock. And that is going to let us know, based upon that voltage, how much alcohol is in someone's breath. So the ignition interlock or the intoxilock is going to figure out what that BRAC is, and then it's going to prevent the car from starting or uh, running at that time if it needs to. All right, so Jacob, how do you actually install an ignition interlock device? We're going to use what is called a, a butt connector to tap into there. Um, and from there, the interlock can talk to the vehicle, so to speak. Um, so it's really easy to put in and really easy to take out. So what if I wanna sell my car? What do I do then? So it's really easy if it's voluntarily installed and it's not court order, you can have it removed at any time. Um, and because we use butt connectors, when we remove it, it's super discreet and we're going to return it back to factory. So no one will ever know that it was installed and it's not gonna impact your resale value at all. So why would a parent want to install an Intoxilock device in their child's car? Good question. So ignition interlock devices in states where they're required um, for first time offenders, drunk driving deaths are reduced by about 16%. So I, as a parent, if I wanna ensure that my child, every time they get into their car, that they're making a safe decision and it has the highest chance of them coming back to me safe, I wanna install an ignition interlock device to ensure that no drunk driving is occurring. Whether it be my child, whether it's a friend of my child who may be driving the car, every time that motor starts, it's a sober driver behind the wheel. Sad students across the nation have always known that ending impaired driving was a winnable battle. Today, we are still continuing in this fight, and we believe that ignition interlocks are a key tool in helping us reach zero roadway fatalities.